Welcome back to round three. This is the back nine coverage here at Brewster Ridge. We're at the Green Mountain Championships. My name is Paige Pierce. I'm Missy Gannon. And thank you to GK Pro for this coverage and to Discraft for sponsoring it. We got some tight scores after the front nine. Haley King and myself are tied at seven under par. Sarah Hokum at one under par and Katrina Allen at two over, but we saw Jessica Weiss moving up from the second card. She is just ahead of Katrina Allen. So everyone's fighting for a feature card spot going into the final round here at this four round tournament. Yeah, so like you said, you and Haley knotted up at the top. It's seven under overall, one under for the round so far. And, you know, we're all just trying to make moves. This is technically a uh, moving day, being the third round of a four-round tournament. So just trying to make that push. Hole 10, 405 feet, par three, downhill the entire way. One of the wider fairways on this course, um, just trying to throw a nice uh, flexing shot or something that's going to stay really, really straight and have a lot of glide down to this pin. Um, being 405 feet, it does play a little bit shorter, but it's still a, a full pump for most of us. It's just a really beautiful fairway. A couple of little apple trees around. Oakum with the hyzer flip up that left side, but just a little bit too wide. Clips some branches and finds yourself outside circle too. Going with the backhand here with my Raptor. Just trying to throw it hard and flat. And this is the first time I've executed this shot well, so I feel very good about this. Actually on the back side, but inside the circle. Cat grabs her M4. Quite a bit slower of a disc. Yeah, maybe just looking for that glide. If she gives it enough height, she might be able to get there. Yeah, and I gave her a did. huge high five <laughs> after that, virtually, obviously. But <laughs> I, I was trying my mid in practice and couldn't even get it close. So that is just a pump. Mm -hmm. Haley with her stalker. Very similar line to Katrina. A little bit less glide on the fairway driver though, so she's gonna find herself outside the circle. She actually did make the putt from there in round one though. That's true. Nice little chip shot from Sarah. Again. Not likely to be laying this up. It is Haley King. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a, a little half bid there, but you're coming back at the basket for your birdie. Yeah, dead center, picking up another one. Trina for her birdie. Yeah, great pickup. And not very often you see two birdies on this hole, let alone one. Mm -hmm. You definitely need to pick them up now before headed into hole 11. <laughs> yeah. The infamous backup hole. Yeah takes a long time to play it just because there's so many different places you can end up. Look at this tunnel right here. Yeah, 615 feet, par four, does play downhill the entire way, but this fairway just snakes from left to right, back to the left, and um, you know, you can get a decent distance down the fairway if you just commit to a big flex uh, shot on the backhand. Uh, we did see Cat get really far down the fairway. Um, during that first round. It, the name of the game is just staying in the biggest gap that you can um, because there's a ton of trees to work around, especially if you hyzer off to the left. I'm sure we'll see a couple of forehands as well. This is 
my soul, just trying to go up the left side on a turn. And I just threw it a little bit too soft, didn't get that turn, and it clips way right into the woods. So it looks like the same disc cat threw in round one, trying to replicate that shot. Very committed turn with a driver. And it clips some trees, but still hyzers down pretty far down the fairway, but she is going to be scrambling from there. This thing is gorgeous. Yeah. Just looking to hyzer back right into the fairway. Great shot. Actually pushed a little bit long of the gap, but it got mm. through. Mm -hmm. Haley with that stalker again. Little low. Skids down to just off the center. This is my soul again. Looking for that glidey understable shot. And I'm pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. I did hit a late tree, but I think I can save par from there mm -hmm. if I have another good shot. Haley went for it. She yeah. was not laying up at all. She mm -hmm. put that onyx on a severe turn. Clipped some trees, but she's going to be like 90 feet or so. Looks like Kat's going with the same disc that she threw off the tee. Trying to flex one up to the green. Just hits a late tree. A little bit too much turn. Oh, come not quite enough pop on that one. It stays hyzering the whole way. And it's going to find that downhill slope. So she's going to be pretty far away. Felt really indecisive on this. Whether I should sidearm chip it in. Or just pitch a little jump putt. I think the jump putt was the correct play. I just pulled it a little bit too left. Cat. Putting it close, she'll be looking at about 15 feet for her par. Haley now with kind of a putt oh. throw. Sinks it. Do you think she was actually... <laughs> I have oh, no yeah, idea. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what no to think. I have no idea. I think she was trying. Look at her reaction. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go go home <laughs> no that was amazing that's such a uh, beautiful that's crazy putt throw <laughs> what a three on that hole that's awesome this is the save par from just outside the circle Drop. little bit high left and it does not stick I will be giving Haley two strokes on this one. Sarah cleans up for her par. As will Cat. Somebody's unmuted. And hole 12, 360 feet, par 3, uh, quite a bit downhill. And I think you'll see uh, a, a lot of mid-range shots, maybe even a putter, just because it does play downhill. But um, you just really need to hold something super straight and just get a little bit of late fade right before this tree on our right that we're at right now, um, down to this elevated pin. A really pretty green. I really like this green. There is a lot of... Uh, trees to contend with if you're off the fairway left or right. Haley going with a Luna here. Looks quite a bit low. Oh, but she gets a very <laughs> nice skip and a kick off that tree. Wow. I was wondering yeah. how it got there. Yeah. I thought it was a little short. Cat now with her M4. This is a, her flippiest mid, so she's putting this on a severe hyzer. 
and a well-thrown shot. She's a little bit inside of the gap, but she's still on the putting green, maybe a 40-footer or so. a little low. I liked the angle out of Sarah's hand. Just a little bit too low. Didn't quite get that flex back. This is my big Z Fierce. I love it out of my hand. Just hoping it's long enough to where I don't have some of these bushy trees mm -hmm. in my putt. Yeah, great shot. They are framed up, just pushing circle two's edge. Good line. <laughs> Trina from just outside the circle. Maybe on a regular size basket that would have gone in. Mm -hmm. Haley connects for her birdie. As will you. Hokum and Cat will tap in for their pars. All right, leaderboard check-in. Haley is three under, so she's at nine under par for the round. I'm at two under currently, so I'm one behind her at eight under. And almost the rest of the field is over par, so if someone from Chase Card can shoot even or under, they might have a chance to jump onto this lead card in round four. And as we move into hole 13, one of the hardest holes on the course at 565 feet. It is a par four, but it just requires two very technical and demanding shots in order to get yourself close for the birdie. So, um, you know, it's we've seen threes. We know Sarah got a three the first round, but just trying to stay in the fairway off of the tee. It does need to bend to the right a little bit, um, but then you have this really tight technical uh, shot up to the basket through a ton of little trees. It's just a really demanding hole, but I, I do really like this hole a lot. It sets up really well for the forehand, like you see Haley lining up here. She does pull it too far to the left and gets a kick to the right. She will be scrambling on this hole. This is my soul trying to go hyzer flip up the left side. Don't quite give it enough pop. It's not going to get that flip that I'm looking for. But that last little bush did slow it down. So hopefully I can make something happen from there. Yeah, similar from Cat, just maybe a little bit too much hyzer, doesn't quite get the flip. Gonna have to be scrambling from that left side. Sarah's shot looks absolutely textbook for this tee shot. As long as she could stay as center as possible, she'll be lined up pretty well. Haley just pitching up her crystal raptor around the corner, trying to get back into position. My fierce, just trying to oh, barely pitch it out, yeah, get into the center. A little bit too much turn, but I'm still right where I wanted to be. Ilya still out of position, a little too far right. She tries to make something happen though. And she's, that's hard to say if that's the gap or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's where, it's where the basket's nestled into, but it's really tight from there still. You want to be right of that tree. Yeah. Yeah, and even Sarah, now she's on the right side 
of that gap. Um, I think they're still going to have to be scrambling just a little bit from there. Wow, and Cal was trying to go sidearm roller over the bridge, or maybe even on the bridge. Clips the front edge of it, so she's going to be short of that bridge and still in the rough. This is my Crystal Fierce. Love it. Oh, and no. just get a weird little kick over to the right. I'm still not too far away, but mm -hmm. it's about a 25-footer with some obstacles instead of being right under it. Cat, yeah. that was beautiful wow. shot from way out of position. Looking at an overhand tomahawk from Sarah. It's when you know that you're dealing with some very tiny gaps. Yeah. Oh. And she gets the forward progress, but she's still, you know, a tester away. Mm -hmm. Bailey just forced the pitch up there. Oh, she hits the cage. She does run it, even with that downhill drop off after. And I have a really wide straddle. I have a tree right in my way, and it's just a tiny bit left. Too much hyzer. And Kat will save par from there. What a good up and down. Yeah. Scrambling the entire way. Still gets her par. Pokem and I will guard bogeys. And so will Haley. I practice a lot. It's a vice. An escape from stress, from work. It's my chance to just get away during the week. It's like meeting up with an old friend, you know? We just left the hardest hole on the course, playing at a full stroke over par to now the easiest hole on the course, hole 14, 255 feet, par three, uphill the entire way, but um, you just have to throw a nice soft fading hyzer up this right side here uh, and just gently come into this green. There is a slope off to the left of the basket that does shoot you into a ravine and then a, a bunch of trees sort of in the middle if you misrelease a little bit. Cat going with the M2, the wide gap, but it's just a little late release there and she's gonna be just barely off the tee pad. Haley looking at that similar, same gap with her onyx, but early releases and she's gonna be on the left side quite a bit short. I'm also aiming at that same gap. <laughs> and a big late release there. Basket over there. See if Hokum can find the fairway for one of us. Yeah. Taking a different approach with this forehand line. Also going that right side. Looking for a little bit more height on that and does hit that middle tree. Kicks her off to the right. Cat just going with a wide hyzer, skipping into the green. Whoa. That it's was... the last tree, but yeah. she's still inside the circle. Very small gap here. Do. 
just pitches one up into the mulch. You can see Haley's got to get around a bunch of trees, just goes out to the right, laying up for her par. Cat, just enough height over that rim, save her par. And the rest of us are looking to do the same, just take the par off the missed tee shot. Looks like that's what we will see, especially going into hole 15. Very daunting tee shot. You're throwing from out of bounds, so you have to clear that rock wall through this tight gap. At 395 feet, it plays slightly downhill um, and also uh, hangs off to the left side. Yeah, big numbers can be had on this hole, but two is also still absolutely in play um, at being a par three. This tee shot is definitely just, you're absolutely happy to make it through this gap and, and safe uh, is the number one, number one objective. There it is, Cat. Cat right at the spotter, looking for it to Heiser late. Yeah, it looks perfect. And it does, she's on the putting green. Great correction from day one. Mm -hmm. Haley with a stalker. Pulls it a little right, but she does get through the gap. And like you said, that is definitely what you're focused on. Mm -hmm. This is my Raptor. Just completely like late release that one, not in. even close. Kind of got distracted there a little bit. Sarah, beautiful looking turnover with the sidearm. Yeah. And she's down there a little short, shorter than Cat, but she's down looking at a pretty open up shot. Yeah, and here's your drop zone shot. Very difficult. But if that's the way to throw it, then that is the way to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> you just needed something to stall out nice and high and you did it perfectly. Yeah, and I knew Haley wasn't up there for a putt, so I thought, you know, if I can just get this up there, I'm only gonna lose one stroke. Sarah wanted that to turn a little bit more, but she's still inside 20 feet. Cat with a rare birdie look here. Not quite high enough. Haley snagging the par, and like you said, you know, this is, uh, she played it pretty well. Um, Getting your par on this hole feels really good. So that will increase her lead to two shots and we are down to the last three holes of round three. Leaderboard check-in, like I said, she Haley is up by two. Hokum is behind me by six, and Katrina one behind her, tied with Jessica Weiss for that fourth place spot. So these last three holes are gonna be critical to determine who's gonna be that fourth spot on the feature card going into the final round. And hole 16, 380 feet, par three, plays severely downhill, OB all along the left side. So it does play really well for the forehand or nice, uh, slightly turning backhand. Uh, it's still a decent distance away. I know it will play shorter than 380 feet, but um, once you have a good shot off the tee, it's just a matter of hitting the gap and getting through all of these trees guarding the basket. Katrina parked this one in round one, see if she can do it again with her M4. 
wide hyzer flip needs to brake quicker. And it does get that turn, but not quick enough. She's gonna be on the deep side, looking at about a 50 footer. A lot of trees in the way on that side. Haley carted a double on this, so today she said her primary goal was just getting through the gap. She doesn't even care where that lands. But she gets to about <laughs> 50 feet short. Yeah. A little higher from Sarah. She might be finding herself on that right side. Hopefully she stayed out of the woods. My soul trying to go wide on the hyzer flip and a little too wide, clip a tree. And as soon as it kicks right, I knew it was parked. <laughs> <laughs> And at this point, I'll just take a birdie any way I can get yeah, it. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you got to just take what the course gives you. <laughs> as soon as it hit that tree, I was like parked. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sarah will pitch up for her par. Katrina looks like she's given this some time. She's going to be running this. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Just barely short. Gets a little roll. That's going to be a tester, about 25 feet. Yeah, might even have some of those trees in her way. Haley just a tiny bit high. That was nice and centered. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good connection. Great birdie. Thank you. From yourself and the tree. <laughs> From the tree, mostly. From the tree. That was the star of the show. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. You know? You got it. Hole 17, 545 feet, par four. Uh, main objective is to get past the little ravine that we're about to fly over. It is does require a long, straight shot with not too much fade to the left, just enough to get you right about here is the ideal shot, the absolute perfect shot to set yourself up for a nice straight uh, approach to this green. There's a cliff on that left side and a uh, very rough, very rough, rough off the fairway. This is my Raptor. Trying to get around that corner with some stability and I knew it was a little bit too far left. I'm gonna have to throw some sort of scramble shot from there. Katrina now, she says she doesn't have a disc that's perfect for this hole so she just grabs a driver and chunks it at that back wall. She actually yeah. gets a good kick too, right into the grass. Mm -hmm. So she'll have flat footing. Ailey with a beautiful shot around the corner, good speed, right in the center of the fairway. Yeah. Heiser flip, needs to get up a little, and it does. She is past the gap, and that's pretty rare that you see all four drives past the bridge. Mm -hmm. Sarah is in a little bit of a pinch here. Yeah, probably not thinking about birdie at this point, just looking to set herself up for an easier approach to pick up her par. But Kat can definitely still make a birdie happen from here. Mm -hmm. Looks like that is going to happen. <laughs> perfect Pretty perfect. Haley <sighs> with her ringer. Get it. Oh. 
right under the mulch. Two tap-in birdies from them. I am in distance range for the birdie, but it is very pinched. I turned that one a little bit too much again, and I'm going to be just inside the circle, but lots of branches in my way. They are pitching up. She'll be walking away with a par. Here is your putt. Big straddle out to the right. Oh. Yeah, and those branches were really low in my way. I thought I had to throw a hyzer at it. Just missed, missed it a little bit right. Tap in for a par. And I will give a, another stroke back to the leader, Haley King. Mm -hmm. Just such a well-played hole. Yeah. We're moving into the final hole of the round. There is one more birdie opportunity left in hole 18. Yeah, absolutely. Playing at 345 feet, pretty flat, no real elevation uh, changes. Par three, this one bush in the middle of the fairway is just that last obstacle that you're trying to get around. Um, for the most part, you'll see people trying to go this right side of this bush, maybe on a flex shot just to ensure that you get the distance or just a really powered uh, flat shot. And uh, yeah, I mean, there is rough on the right side, not too much, uh, too much to deal with on the left side. Cat trying to get that to flip up to flat, but she doesn't put enough turn on it. She's going to be outside the circle, outside of circle two on the left. Haley now with her Zeus. She does get the turn, but it still hyzers out just outside the circle, pin high. My raptor. You're opting for that straighter flight. Heiser flip up to flat. Wow. Just past Thank the you. basket. Great shot. Just a little hot, but you're inside the circle long. Sarah asking for it to heiser just before that bush. And it does, she is going to be inside circle two with the open look at the basket. Cat dropping to a knee. There are some tree branches in her way. Just trying to pitch up. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Just barely too short. Great attempt from Sarah. Just a little bit low from Haley, so she will finish the round out at nine under. If I can hit this, I close the gap to one stroke. Another wide straddle. Very wide, and that last tree right beside the basket is in the way. Yeah. and just can't quite get it around that tree, so I will settle for a par as well. Tight, so tight battle up at the top here. I don't, you know, I'm gonna call it a two horse race at this point, at least for that first place spot. Uh, a lot can happen on Fox Run, but it's gonna be an exciting finish for sure. Going into a more open, possibly windier Fox Run course. Yeah, a lot can happen. Lots of out of bounds, wind element. Mm -hmm. And we got not only this championship on the line, but also the Pro Tour championship points are accumulating. Mm -hmm. So rounding out the feature card tomorrow will be Sarah Hokum and Katrina. Jessica Weiss finished at even par, the late mistake there. So she will not be jumping onto the feature card. 
but still a solid round from her and from you as well, yeah, even bad. par. <laughs> so make sure you guys subscribe and tune in to round four to see who the championship will go to. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>